Okay, video number three for SSE, but by the way, a student was kind enough to catch an error. I divided the eight by two. It's actually supposed to be negative six divided by two. So that's the correct answer for the previous video. Sorry. <coughs> I'm still coughing. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to convert into the other two forms, but this time I'm given vertex form first. So this is vertex form. You've got to multiply it out to get to standard form, and then you've got to factor it to get to factored form. So this is like the very first skill we practice on the very first video. You've got to remember how to do double distribution. Everybody's got to remember that this, shh, this goes first because of order of operations. So it's x plus 10 times x plus 10. You do double distribution slash FOIL on that, whatever you want to call it. x squared plus 10x plus 10x plus 100. And then bring the minus 4 right there. And then you've got two sets of like terms to collect. So this is x squared plus 20x plus 96. Okay? <coughs> Uh-oh. <coughs> I don't think this one factors. Do you guys think this one factors? I don't think it does. Oh, there it is, 4 and 16. No, it's 4 and 24. There it is. Nope. This one doesn't factor. That's odd. Oh, there it is, 8 and 12. Okay, so it factors into 8 and 12, so x plus 8 and x plus 12. Wow, that was a close one. I knew I set these up correctly when I made the review document. <coughs> okay, let's do it again. Double distribute over here. x squared minus 8x minus 8x plus 64. Then bring the minus 9 out down to there. Again, two sets of like terms to collect. x squared minus 16x. What's 64 minus 9? Is that 55? Aha! Uh -huh. What are the numbers that multiply to 55 but add up to negative 16? It's negative 11 and negative 5. Ooh, this is a tough one. x minus 11 and x minus 5. All right, there's our two answers for the second video for today.